why is it at the age of 12 that uh, we start living in cycles? Oh, that's because uh, your intelligence gets hijacked by your hormones. Hormones means you're becoming physically conscious. Your physicality becomes the main part of who you are. Because you become so physical, you naturally become cyclical. If your identification with the physical is not strong, your life will not be cyclical. And that identity becomes strong only somewhere between eleven to fourteen for people. It's very important. Children come in touch with some kind of spiritual process. It need not be something too intense, at least a little bit. Not, not religion but spiritual process where a child is conscious before he gets hijacked by a chemical poisoning, he is conscious that there is something more to me than my body. This must become an established reality in his mind and his experience. Then he will handle the physical in a more graceful way. Otherwise, the physical turns lot of people into brutish existence. Whether it… in everybody's life, whether it finds external expression or not, but within themselves, a whole lot of people have a very brutish existence. Some find expression, some control the expression, but it is happening to too many people. One thing is what happens in the society, yes, it's of concern. But my concern is not so much about what happens in the society, my concern is what happens within the human being, because that's where human experience is. That's where the quality of human being is determined. If we take care of what happens within an individual human being, you don't have to bother about what happens in a society, you don't even have to worry about that. But because we don't take care of what happens within an individual human being, we try to police the society. It is… You, in some way, you're turning the whole world into a prison. Everything is heavily polished as societies get so… <laughs> so-called civilization happens. Terribly polished, people are proud. We call the police, they're there in two minutes flat. That's what happens in the prison. Even there it takes two minutes. <laughs> no, if you are truly civilized, we must be able to live here well without a police force, isn't it? If you are truly civilized, that's how it should be. There is no police force in the ocean, you know, <laughs> just like that. The whole society could live like that if they were little more conscious, if little more attention was paid to what is happening in an individual human being, rather than just being concerned about what's happening around us without creating better human beings, we will not create a better society, it is not possible, there is no such thing.